Hello guys and my valued viewers, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Hopefully you are all fine like before, big news for Dinar just dropped. I always try my best to provide you the updated information. So this video is about the latest announcement of Iraqi Dinar news. Hit subscribe to stay informed and comment below. Iraq is working on a plan to increase the use of electronic payments, aiming to move away from a heavy reliance on physical cash. This strategy is not just about convenience but has much broader goals that could have a positive impact on the country's financial stability. One of the main reasons for this push is to reduce the risk of illegal financial activities that often happen when cash is the primary method of transaction. When people use cash, it becomes harder for the government to track transactions, which makes it easier for things like money laundering and tax evasion to occur. By encouraging more people and businesses to use electronic payments, Iraq hopes to make the flow of money more transparent and secure. The shift towards electronic payments could also contribute to stabilizing Iraq's currency. A more formal and well-documented system of financial transactions would give the government better control over the economy. When cash is used for most transactions, it is more difficult to keep track of how much money is moving around the country. This unpredictability can lead to fluctuations in the value of the currency. However, with electronic payments, there is a clear record of every transaction, making it easier to monitor and manage the flow of money. This, in turn, could help Iraq maintain a more stable currency, which is crucial for long-term economic growth and development. Moreover, increasing electronic payments can help bring more people into the formal banking system, especially in a country like Iraq, where many citizens may not have access to traditional banking services. As more people begin to use electronic methods to pay for goods and services, they will likely need to open bank accounts or use mobile payment systems. This would make financial services more accessible to a larger portion of the population, giving people more options to save and invest their money securely. By reducing the dependence on cash, Iraq can also lessen the logistical burden of printing, distributing and safeguarding large amounts of physical money, which can be costly and inefficient. Additionally, businesses in Iraq stand to benefit from a move towards electronic payments. Handling cash can be risky, especially in a country that has faced security challenges in recent years. By adopting electronic payment systems, businesses can reduce the risk of theft and fraud while also streamlining their operations. It would make it easier for businesses to keep track of sales, manage their finances, and pay taxes. This could lead to a more robust and transparent business environment, encouraging both local and foreign investment. In the long run, Iraq's strategy to promote electronic payments is about building a stronger, more stable economy. By modernizing the way people and businesses handle money, the country hopes to reduce financial crime, stabilize its currency, and provide better services to its citizens. Though it may take time for people to get used to using electronic payments, especially in a society where cash has been the dominant form of money for so long, the benefits of this shift could be significant for Iraq's future. 